during the celebration of the 58th World Day of Social Communications held at the Sacred Heart of Jesus, Ediof Cathedral in Arua Diocese. The Bishop of Arua Diocese, Bishop Sabino Odochi, in his homily emphasized love through action in everything that we do. Love must be seen in action. What do we do to make our love real? By reaching out to God through prayers. Going for prayers as we are doing now is action of love towards God. We are put aside everything to come and be here and pray and thank God for what the church is doing through the social communications, through the media. By doing our work well in our families, Whatever we do in families to make life better, that is love in action. Whatever we do in our small Christian communities to make us live together as Christians who support one another, that is love in action. Whatever we do in our workplaces, we do to the best of our ability so that others can get the services that we are to give for them. That is real love. Uganda will not suffer so much if we are all committed to our work and do it with passion of love. He called for work with love and passion for all Ugandans to better their lives. If in Uganda today we would all work for real love, as our motto says, for God and my country, our life situation would be a lot better. Let all we do be done with passion and love so that our life situation can get better. So there is a lot to do to express our real love. Let us take the example of Jesus. Let us take the example of the saints. Let us uh, take the example of those who can inspire us. The church celebrated the role played by the communication sector in evangelization. He said mass media has grown and expanded to over diverse areas in both print and electronic form and above all, the artificial intelligence which has made tremendous changes in the digital era. So we are very grateful that we have these various means of communication, Facebook, WhatsApp, video, Zoom, which has even changed the way we meet. People now meet through video Zoom. The first time I didn't like it much, but now I like it so much. Because it saves my time. Eh? And so on and so forth. And behind all this, there is what we call artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence is another new vocabulary. Which has made the world change a lot. The phones we use, the computers we use, so many things that we use behind it is the artificial intelligence. He said that the Catholic Church cannot live in isolation, but lives in the modern world and must use the modern means of communication for effective evangelism. We are therefore lucky for the many inventions and technological advancements which are present in our times. These are great opportunities. Even Pope Francis tells us in the document that he has given for this occasion that these are great opportunities, but also, if and when not used well, they can also be a danger to our society. So we must always be aware of the, the negative effects so that we keep always on the positive effect. Reverend Father Phil Paul D, the Executive Secretary, Social Communications for Uganda Episcopal Conference, says it's a day to appreciate the Catholic communicators and support them financially. Uganda Catholic Television started broadcasting in 2020 and it was officially launched last year in June at Namgongo. Some of you may have been there, but we still need your support. It's, a, it's still a young media house and in the coming months we shall be going around the dioceses promoting UCTV, 
but also asking you to continue supporting it. He further called for support for the Uganda Catholic Television. The World Communications Day, which we are celebrating today, provides us an opportunity to reflect on our responsibilities as communication, communicators. It's an opportunity also for the public to understand what we are doing, to pray for the communication apostolate, but also to make a financial contribution towards the communication apostolate of the church. So it is a day for appreciating our communicators and also a day to support them financially. Right now, the church in Uganda has been given the gift of a Catholic uh, national radio. UCTV, Uganda Catholic Television. I meant, I meant television, not radio, right? Which is in its infancy, right? Which is not reaching everywhere uh, right now yet. But in order to do that, in order to get on those platforms that Father Odi was mentioning, we need support. People don't give this uh, to us for free. Eh? The STV, Star Times, and all the others, they need money to accept us so that we may be seen everywhere. So, my appeal to you is first of all to pray for our television, for our media in general, Catholic media in the, in the Catholic Church, but for the television, Uganda Catholic television in particular, because this is a, a rather critical moment of its growth, right? And we need all your support. The World Day of Communication is to reflect on the opportunities and challenges of communication in the modern times. The day was instituted by Pope Paul IV in 1967 after the conclusion of the Vatican Council II, whose first discussion was about the use of modern means of communication for effective evangelization. The purpose of instituting the World Day of Communication was to reflect on the opportunities and challenges of communication in the modern times. Nora Osende for UCTV News.